three weeks, people will get a glimpse. Soon memes aside, they actually wrote a glimpse. When is the actual update coming? Nobody knows. That's not even a release date they're showing, it's a premiere of a glimpse. And already, shills are on that I told you so energy. Five months after this game came out, it can't even replay its own campaign. I hope you don't agree with that fact being hilarious because if you do, <laughs> you're toxic. Five months of this two villain, one DLC archer, no Marvel location having tours of infinite robot factories, and you start to understand why an announcement of an announcement is enough to get these people hyped. Be happy for them though, a preview of quote, what's to come, not now, but in 18 days, is exactly the kind of I'll take anything news that is typical of these defenders. It's crazy because they call us entitled. Okay. You've already seen a Play Avengers mod chase people across the internet for daring to have different opinions on Marvel's Avengers, and then they'll call you toxic. You've seen even bigger fanboys defend these stalker moderators because ain't no greater sin in the church of defenders and slurp scientists than standing up to a proven jackass forced to apologize for his behavior after failed attempts at accusing people of daxing. Bruh, may the slurp be with you and also with you. If this game had been patched and were perfect now, the shill damage control would have made it seem like it was always perfect, but thankfully, the game is still broken, so the insanity shines like a beacon on a Gondor mountaintop. It's honestly sad watching them cheer for shit like this after months of telling people, it's a live service, it's supposed to be launching bad, you should have backed up your save. It's like Robin Hood sending out emails saying how volatile the market is. We're just protecting you from the volatility of the market. When in reality, the market is and has been operating exactly like this for years without the sudden necessity for people's shit to be sold without their consent or suddenly having purchases restricted. It's wild, boy. But no matter how much clown makeup Robin Hood puts on, it won't undo what it did. No matter how much faith people have in this title, it won't make the game what it should have been. No matter how many archers get thrown at this game, it won't undo the launch that left smart gamers with an impression that Marvel's Avengers isn't even trying to smooth over. Liking this game is awesome, and no one can tell you otherwise. No one can take that away from you. But defenders really like to call people impatient. After what, five months, people impatient? Why, because you have waited longer for something? Can you imagine a woman who's like pregnant with twins walking up to a woman that's just pregnant with one and going, ha, you ain't pregnant. Ha, I'm more pregnant than you, son. So, you know, I'm like getting that right, right? They've waited longer without an issue, so that makes everybody else impatient. Boy, if it were my obligation to educate people on why a sense of urgency was necessary with this title, I'd like to save everybody some time and just skip straight to the end. The game can't bounce back because Avengers was and still is an incomplete minimum viable product. It's a cheeseburger without cheese or a burger patty. It's an okay sandwich, I mean if you just want a lettuce and a tomato, but it's not a cheeseburger. And if you think that's an exaggeration, Avengers is a looter with loot so bad that they've had to say, and again, this is how little we communicate with the developers. When they actually say that a loot overhaul is coming, you know that it must have been so bad that they actually had to say something about it. It's a looter with bad loot, a live service with broken dailies and no end game. If that's not a cheeseburger with no cheese or burger, I don't know what analogy is going to make this simple enough for you to understand. It could have and should have been slowly patching its problems over for the last five months, but instead, 
we're like four or five giant patches away from where this should be before they even start talking about next gen. Overhauling loot, stabilizing multiplayer performance, patching in actual endgame modes, villains, ironing out the bugs that are going to come with all of those updates. You see this checklist? This doesn't include like innovations or enhancements or even the bullshit that I'm crazy about coming to the harm room. This is just foundation shit. And it's not in. Ask yourself though, for real, do you think this game should attempt a next gen launch before Black Panther or Spider-Man? In my opinion, they need like two more flying heroes. And it's not like they don't have anybody to choose from. Ant-Man, Wasp, Scarlet Witch, Vision, War Machine, Captain Marvel. The objective with the next gen launch should be to undo the train wreck that was the September launch. At least three new heroes, at least six new villains, end game modes, new loot, fun dailies, MCU skins, make this a different title when you release it. But instead, halfway through the next month, y'all are getting a trailer about DLC that will come sometime in the future. And then after that, then what? All of this stuff gets fixed at, at once, <laughs> at month six. Then what, the Avengers get raids, right? Because it's definitely ready for that. Then all of the toxic people will see once and for all how wrong they actually were. How dare you doubt this game? Mm. Do you win the lottery in this in this one division reality? Does your waifu become real in this one division reality? For a while, I wanted to play Marvel's Avengers on PC. But with like a fun skin modded in, you ever see like Resident Evil with Jill Valentine skins? If this game were popular, somebody would have made a Mr. Fantastic skin and you could play him through the single player, but it's not. It's not popular. All of the streamers in the world could play this game tomorrow and it's buggy and incomplete state would turn people off to this game within hours, son. As much as I want Doctor Strange in this game, do I want him in if there's not going to be anything to do? Listeners, let me know if there are any updates leading up to this Archer DLC trailer, because it's genuinely unnerving how little is being fixed when they know their fixes usually come with bugs. One of the biggest things I've said before and I'll say again is that this game will never get better unless it is someone's job to take a good look at the current gaming landscape, specifically at the games within the genre you're trying to make this game in, and incorporating equal or better experiences than what's currently on offer. One comment I'm always seeing that people make is, it's gotta get good, bro, it's a Marvel property. How could it not? Look at the shop, son. How can you screw up a Marvel shop? They did it. Look at the DLC. Five months and they only have one Archer out. You'll be lucky to have Hawkeye by the sixth month. All because of the direction they chose. If War Machine ever comes to this game, I bet you he'll be functionally similar to Iron Man which means that they could have put a little bit of work into him and just rushed him out the door to break up the monotony. But instead, they chose and doubled down on this double archer bullshit. So after five months, they can't say that they've added more than one hero to the game, a game that still only has the one enemy type. Y'all beating up aim robots. Oh my God. Okay, I don't know how many times we can just shrug and say, I guess we'll see what's coming. You know what I mean? By now, what I genuinely expected was that Jason Trier, Mr. Big Expose, you know, games journalist would have been able to get a hold of somebody to anonymously spill the beans on this game. And that hasn't happened. So makes me wonder how many are even working on this game at this point, man. I love you guys. Keep me abreast of any updates, but for right now with this game, come on, man. You know what I'm looking at? Outriders. And if you don't know anything about that, I'm not going to plug it to death here. Just look it up. Okay. See you later.